video, you're going to find lots of inspiration if you are a huge Misty Your fan like I am. And if you want to extend your perfume collection or know about all the products that they have within the range, or you just want to give someone, then this is the video for you. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Charlene. On this channel, I talk about a feminine lifestyle and perfumes. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm super excited to talk about this video because I have so much to talk about. I wanted this video to be a bit of a tea time and a catch up and an update on the Miss Dior perfume collection. The collection has grown. We have more body care, new perfumes added to the range and a few updates as well. So in this video, I have a buying guide for you and I'm going to talk you through every single item from Miss Dior, plus, you know, everything in my collection. So I can help you with buying gifts or to inspire yourself if you're looking for a new fragrance. Give this video a like and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite Miss Dior perfume. This year, I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and I'm sure you can help me by doing so by clicking the button down below to subscribe. As you know, I love Miss Dior. I love everything Dior. And as you know, if you've just seen my most recent video where I share my signature scents with you over the years, you will know my history when it comes to Miss Dior. It was one of my most loved perfumes. It was my signature scent. So I've been wearing this perfume for many, many years, and I'm just excited to share this update with you. So I thought we could have a little bit of a tea time. I'm going to start off first by talking about all the fragrances. So I'll give you a second to make some tea. I have a lovely blend here of rose tea, which I think it just suits the whole theme of Miss Dior. If you are drinking tea, let me know down below what you were drinking. We're going to start off with Miss Dior and this is the 2021 version that I have here today. This is a sweet vanilla floral perfume that's really delicate, soft but very sweet. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you love this version. Miss Dior Eau de Parfum is a beautiful feminine perfume. It's powdery, sweet and it's floral. I'm going to spray some for you. On the card here. So immediately when you spray this fragrance it is sweet vanilla and some florals and you're going to pick up a little bit of iris. There's a soft powdery violet but immediately it's tonka bean and vanilla. Now this is a soft feminine very girly fragrance and I would recommend this fragrance for all ages. It's a suitable perfume, it's delicate, it's soft, and it smells floral and very sweet. In Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, the top notes are Iris, Peony, Lily of the Valley, Apricot, Rose and Peach in the Heart, and it settles to Vanilla, Musk, Tonka Bean, Benzoin, and Sandalwood. And like when I first sprayed, you're going to receive a sweet note. It's soft, sweet, a little bit floral, but very much vanilla. It's vanilla, tonka bean, that benzoin, and then you pick up that iris is in here as well. And a little bit of the fruity notes from the apricot and peony. Mistio is pretty and feminine, and you're going to get about three to four hours in this version here. But this lasts on your clothes all day long. So on your skin, it's about three to four hours, and it radiates and leaves a beautiful trail. I'm going to share the different sizes I have. The size I have here is 100 ml. And then I also have a smaller version here, which is a 30ml bottle. So it's entirely up to you. If you're gifting, you may want to go with a small bottle. If they are new to the fragrance, then they can try something smaller. But if you know they love Dior or they love a floral sweet perfume, go ahead and I would buy the 100ml. Miss Dior Eau de Parfum is available in four sizes. You have the 30ml bottle, which starts from £69. Then you have a 50ml, 100ml, which I have here. The 100ml is £137, and then you have 150ml, which is £169. So it's entirely up to you which version you prefer for a gift, but it's a beautiful fragrance that you just want to keep on spraying. It's really pretty, and it makes a wonderful gift. And just to show you here, I just have a very small 5ml bottle as well, so that's what that looks like there. There's a tiny little bottle there. Really beautiful. When this perfume dries down, it's just a sweet, beautiful vanilla. 
with Iris. Miss Dior or the Toilette originally came out in 2013 and then it was reformulated in 2019. Your EDT still has that rosy heart and a patchouli base. The EDT is a lighter, fresher version of Miss Dior, but this one is still sweet, very sweet and really pretty. You do pick up the citrus notes in this one. So let's spray a little. Wow, immediately orange. It's like a sweet orange, a sweet mandarin. It's really pretty and lots of rose and a touch of patchouli in here as well, but it's still quite a sweet perfume. Really nice, romantic, perfect for daytime. It's a lighter formula as well and it wears lighter. So you're going to receive about two to three hours wear. Typically for myself, I receive about two hours wear, maybe just a little bit more, but it's beautiful, fresh, but sweet. I really do like this one. I do enjoy the EDT as a daytime scent. I would pick this up as a grab and go. If it's a casual day or a weekend, you can wear this. This fragrance could still be a romantic perfume as well. It's really pretty and sweet. The Eau de Toilette is available in two sizes. You have 50ml and 100ml. Here I have a 50ml bottle. The 50ml is going to cost you £82 and 100ml is £114. So I would buy this as a gift. If you know the person likes a lighter fragrance, they don't like anything too strong and heavy, I would buy this perfume if you know the person receiving this fragrance was a big fan of the 2017 version. Then I would go in with the Eau de Toilette, but the longevity is not the greatest, it's under three hours for sure. But even still, it's a beautiful fragrance. That's the EDT. Here I have the beautiful Absolutely Blooming. This is a fruity version of Miss Dior. It's the fruitiest perfume from the whole collection. This perfume is modern, it's pretty, and it has lots of berry notes in here. So let's spray a little first. Fruity, sweet rose, peony, but densely packed roses. Lots of petals. I'm thinking pink, roses, a bit of citrusy notes. It's so fruity and pretty, densely sweet as well. Absolutely Blooming was released in 2016. This is a Eau de Parfum version. Absolutely Blooming is available in three sizes. So you have a 30ml, 50ml and 100ml. Here I have a 100ml bottle. If you love Miss Dior but you're looking for a floral perfume that's modern and fruity, this is the one for you. This opens up with raspberry, there's blackcurrant, pomegranate, so you get a touch of the sweet berry notes mixed with the forest. It's almost like a winter forest fragrance. And then you get a little bit of that pink pepper as well. And in the heart is rose peony and it's a base of musk, so it's a bit soft as well and it's really lovely, it's such a gorgeous fragrance. This is probably the most long lasting fragrance from the whole collection. I would say you would get six hours wear with this fragrance and this version is very strong. If you're a fan of the 2017 version, then you're probably going to like this one because this is a fruitier take on the fragrance of the berry notes, notes of black currant, pomegranate, so this one's really beautiful. Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming ranges from £68 to £137. So like I said, three sizes available and it's always worth going for a larger bottle if you can because it works out better, you get more product for the price. But this one is beautiful, it's the most long lasting, it's fruity and it's a perfume that I find personally that you can wear now in the winter. So it's a floral, but it has those berry notes. It smells like a winter forest or a winter garden. And it's quite warming, those fruity notes as well. So this is quite a nice one to wear during the colder months as well as the spring and summer. So it's an all year round perfume. I'm going to make a few notes and I'm going to tell you how it smells on the dry down. Miss Dior has an extensive range from the collection. So you just have to find a perfume that you love or you think it's going to work for the person who you were gifting. The next perfume I'm going to recommend is a powdery floral perfume. It's this one here. This is Miss Dior Rose and Roses. This perfume was released in early 2020 and I remember this came out um, just in time for Valentine's Day and this perfume is perfect for that time because it's all based on the notes of rose 
but it's a little bit fresh and sparkling in the opening. So it opens up with geranium and bergamot. It has a rosy heart and then you have musk in the base. And when you smell this fragrance, it does smell sparkling and citrusy, but it's very powdery. Let's spray a little bit more of Rose and Roses. And immediately it's sparkling. It smells fresh, clean, bright, a little bit citrusy and rosy. It's a true rose perfume, but a modern rose. It's very modern. You pick up that musk, so it's quite soft. We have bergamot, mandarin and geranium. We have a heart of damask rose and grass rose and a base of musk. So like I said, it's powdery. You do pick up that musky note in here, so it's really soft. And I think this perfume, if you're gifting or if it's for yourself, you have to love rose for this one. It's a rose-based perfume, but it's still modern and soft and it's very sparkling in the opening. I normally wear this in the spring and summer and it's highly complimented. It radiates quite nicely, not very long lasting, less than four hours. The lid is adorned with an metallic bow, that's silver, and then you have the CD embossed on the spray pump there. This is your EDT version. The version I have here is 150 mil. So far going through the collection, have you found a favorite? Is there anything that you love so far? The next perfume I'm going to talk about is a fairly new release. So this is going to be a long video. You might have to top up on your tea, but just going through my collection now, have you seen anything that you like? Let me know down below if you've seen your favorite or something you would like to try. If it's something new, let me know down below. Now the next perfume I want to share with you is this one here. This is Miss Dior Rose Essence. This perfume is relatively new. It came out in 2022, so about a year ago, 18 months ago. This fragrance is a mix of rose, woods, and patchouli. This is a pretty rose, very similar to rose water. It's light, it's not as airy, but the rose is true, but it's definitely lots of woods. Rose Essence is geranium, green notes, in the heart, we have grass rose in this bottle. And then the base is guyac wood, vetiver, musk, and patchouli. Now this fragrance, I still do recommend if you're not a huge fan of patchouli, the patchouli in here is not that heavy, not that strong. It's mainly about the guyac woods and vetiver. This is a woody rose, very much lots of woods in here, but it's still a pretty rose perfume. And this style of perfume, this is an EDT, it's an eau de toilette, and it's a rose essence. So it does perform a little bit like rose water. It's delicate. You have the rose, geranium, and then the woody notes really shine through. So I'm going to spray some on the card. Immediately, woods, rose for sure. You get a touch of patchouli, but it's not heavy at all. It's mainly woods, musk, lots of rose, and geranium in the top notes as well. Rose Essence is a clean perfume. It's soft, it's woody, it's feminine, easy to wear. You're going to get around, I would say three hours wearing this one. Rose Essence is available in one size only, which is 100 ml, 3.4 ounces. This eau de toilette is going to cost you 145 pounds for the 100 ml. Rose Essence is set on a higher price point for an eau de toilette, so that's something to consider as well. The next perfume I'm going to share is this one here. This is Blooming Bouquet, and this is also an eau de toilette, and this was released in 2014, and it was reformulated in 2023. Blooming Bouquet focuses on the notes of peony. It is modern, it is pretty, it is soft, easy to wear this fragrance. Again, this is going to suit all ages. I recommend this from, again, early teens. It's a beautiful fragrance to wear. You can wear this as a signature scent, daytime scent, a wedding day scent. It's so beautiful. It smells like a bouquet of flowers. There's a touch of green note in here as well. This take on the perfume is extremely modern. It's easy to wear. It's not too sweet. It's not dense. It's a floral perfume and it just smells current. It smells like something you can just wear every single day. So it's quite pretty. And this perfume has that typical eau de toilette shape as well 
and in the new formulation it just has a little bow here. We have sweet pea bergamot in the top note, and then you have peony damask rose in the heart and then you have a base of musk as well. So I'm just going to spray this one and what I'll do after I've sprayed them all I'm going to go through them and tell you how the dry down is. So I'll put two sprays on each card. So it's, when I spray this it smells a little bit green, green and fresh. It smells clean and then now immediately there's a fruity note. It's like a bergamot, a citrusy note. There's sweet pea in here, rose peony. And yeah, it's really much very rosy and lots of peony I can smell now. So this is my 50ml bottle, 1.7 ounces. So I have another fragrance to share with you from the Miss Dior collection. But this Miss Dior perfume is a body mist. It's this one here. I rarely hear anyone talk about this one. So I'm going to include it today as one of the fragrances and break down all the notes for you. This is called the Silky Body Mist. It's available in 100 ml and 3.4 ounces. So this is the Body Mist, which I'm not too sure if many people have tried it because I haven't heard many people talk about this fragrance. This bottle is very girly and I think if you are creating a gift, then adding this with any of the other flankers would look really beautiful presented in a lovely Dior box. So let's smell this one. Okay, so I'm going to spray this. And it's described as a silky body mist and I've worn this on my skin and it is quite soft on your skin. It's not oil based, but it does feel very slightly moisturizing. It doesn't feel like a dry spray. It's like a wet mist on the skin and a little bit moisturizing as well but I would still class this as a body mist. So let's just spray. It smells like Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Yeah. It smells like Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, but a little bit sweeter. The body mist opens up with mandarin and it has a heart of jasmine and rose. The body mist settles down to musk and patchouli. So you still pick up the patchouli in here. Oh, really soft. It smells very similar or almost identical to Blooming Bouquet. It's modern, fresh, very girly and feminine, very pretty scent to wear. And this is nice to top up over your fragrance as well. The Silky Body Mist smells like Blooming Bouquet. It just smells a little bit softer. I don't pick up any green notes on the Body Mist. So the Body Mist is available in 100ml but it's going to cost you 50 pounds. The next two perfumes I have on my list are Rollerballs. The two that I have in my collection, the Rose and Roses Rollerball, this is a 20 ml, which is 0.6 ounces. And then I have the Eau de Toilette as well, again, 20 ml Roller Pearl. And these are really handy. They make really nice gifts because you can place this in your handbag or you can have this as a stocking filler. It's a nice way to top up your fragrance. You can apply the gel onto your skin here. So this has more of a gel-like consistency and it sort of just dries onto the skin. Do you receive a scent from this? So it's quite nice in the middle of the day. You just want to freshen up and you can just top up on your pulse points. So I would take this with me on the plane or if I'm traveling or just to have it handy in my bag. And then at some point I can then add the corresponding fragrance and add another layer now. And that gel really holds on to the fragrance and it's quite intense. Now, now that I've done that, this smells like the 2017 version. This smells amazing. It's really, really sweet and intense. So I would actually try that combo. That's really nice, really pretty. Oh my gosh. I hope it lasts because the only thing is this is an EDT, this is a roller pearl, but let's just see. Because my go-to roller pearl would be my Rose and Roses. I wear this one a little bit more. For me, I could be on the plane and I might just apply it to my pulse points just to have a little bit more of that scent and to feel like relaxed and cozy. I would use this, I would take it with me to dinner, apply to my pulse points or my wrists as well, or I'll layer the two together. And they make a beautiful set as well. But if you want a strong version of the fragrance, then I would just go in with the perfume. But if you're looking for a gift to complement, then I would add this in addition to. It just makes a really nice gift and to put it in your handbag. 
So we have the EDT, this came out in 2019. And then we have Rose and Roses, this came out in 2021. Okay, so I'm just smelling the double combo that I just did and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I've only mixed the EDT with the EDT and I feel like I've been receiving the 2017 version. If any of you guys have these two fragrances, please just layer these. You're going to be so happy because the Roller Pearl has increased the performance of this EDT. Now, this is the first time I'm mixing these two. It smells so good. So before I go on to talk about the rest of the Miss Dior collection, I have some unboxing to do with you guys as well. A few new items here. And then I'm going to go back and resume the whole cleansing um, range from Dior. But what I wanted to do was go through all the cards I sprayed earlier and just tell you how the dry down is now. So this is the Eau de Parfum. And on the dry down, it's so nice, wow. It's iris, vanilla, benzoin, tonka bean. It is sweet. It's a bit floral with iris, a little bit of violet, but it's mainly iris, and some rose and lily of the valley, but it's still quite soft. In terms of longevity, this might give you about five hours, but it depends on how you're wearing this perfume because I've sprayed this fragrance and I get three hours. Other times I'm getting five hours sort of on my skin, but once this is on your clothes, it's going to perform nicely. It's going to radiate, fill the room, beautiful trail with this one. And also it's going to last all day or to the next day. And if you spray your scarf, you will smell it the following day. It does last a lot longer on your clothes. So that's a little tip for you. So I have the EDT here and it's dry down. Oh, it's floral, rosy lots of orange it's orange and it's sweet really pretty and sweet hardly any patchouli in the dry down so it's still quite soft and delicate this one rose essence the dry down it's woods it's very woody this one hardly any patchouli once again it's that guyac woods a little bit of the floral notes there's rose and lots of woods in the dry down rose and roses on the dry down this has remained the same. Nothing has changed. It's quite linear, but it's still sparkling. And on the card here, it's one of the strongest I've smelt so far, even in comparison to the Eau de Parfum. This is really strong. It's vibrant. It's fresh. Citrusy, sparkling, bergamot, and lots of rose. Really beautiful, this one. And I find that's always highly complimented. Now this one is absolutely blooming. This is a good one. So absolutely blooming has stayed the same on the card. It's linear. It's the same. You're getting the berries in here. There's pomegranate notes, not much pink pepper, but you get the peony, the rose in here, musk, but it's sweet. It smells like there is a sweet vanilla juice in here, berry like in this perfume, very sweet on the dry down. And I have to say again, so the sweetest would be this one or the strongest, Absolutely Blooming and Rose and Roses so far. Absolutely Blooming is one of the fragrances that lasts the longest for my collection. This I'm getting more than six hours on the skin. It's beautiful. So this one smells gorgeous on the card. So this one I have on the dry down, this is Blooming Bouquet. And on the card, it's still a delicate, soft, modern floral. Peony is in here. It's really pretty, really clean and pretty. And it smells the same, hasn't changed much. I would say that rose essence has changed quite a bit because it opens up with the floral notes, but then it just dries down to woods. It's very woody, this rose. It's really nice, really nice one. And the last perfume I have is this one here. It's the Silky Body Mist. And I have to say on the card, it's there, but it's barely detectable. You can smell it. It smells like a very light blooming bouquet. Very, very light, very soft. It's still there on the card, but barely there. But on your skin, it performs a little bit better. But this is a light um, body mist. I'm going to start off with the body care range next. So if you have any items from the body care, leave me a comment down below 
and let me know what you have from the collection. I want to talk about the shower gel. This is a forming shower gel that I find very moisturizing. I've been using the body care range for more than 10 years and I have to say the formula hasn't changed that much. It's fairly similar but I always found these to be fairly moisturizing. Now my skin is normal to dry and it's more on the normal side. So for me, I find this fairly moisturizing. Now, when you use this, it is so rich and heavily perfumed. It's going to make your bathroom smell like you're in a spa, a Dior spa. I received that typical bubble bath note. So it smells a little bit like pear and it's really clean and soft. And I have to say from this collection, it hasn't changed in its notes. It still smells like the formulation I was using back in 2012. It smells the same. I would say this shower gel is going to complement the whole range. If anything, it's going to suit Blooming Bouquet very well because it has that fresh light note. And also your Mist Your Rose and Roses, you have Rose Essence as well. This is really going to suit. When it comes to the original Mist Dior and Absolutely Blooming, they're more of a sweet fruity perfume. This one's more floral and light. I just think it's going to complement those other fragrances a lot more. But either way, you're going to have a great experience and it does complement and layer perfectly with the entire range. It's just when you smell this fragrance, it doesn't smell like the Miss Dior 2023. It has a different scent. What I'll do also, I'll leave links for everything down below for all the products I can find for you. And then prices as well. If you're gifting. The next item I have is the Miss Dior soap and this is a bar of soap which has the new colour. It's now a see-through pink colour and it's really pretty. Before the soaps were a little bit longer and this is a true square and previously they used to be a rectangular shape and it was white. Now and then after that they reformulated the soap the soap was exactly like this shape here, but it was a white bar. And now they've changed it to match the range and it looks really nice now. And now it's just a see-through pink and it's embossed with Miss Dior. And this is wrapped with a cellophane wrapping. My personal preference is I prefer this color. Now this is what you're going to be buying anyway. They've changed it to this bar. And I just love the hound's tooth that's wrapped around the soap is just really lovely, so I'm going to leave that there, but I'm also going to compare the older version. So I thought because this is my ultimate guide, I'm going to just share everything with you. So I wanted to share with you the predecessor soap in case you were interested. Now this soap, I just checked the batch code for this particular one, and it's 2C04. So this was last manufactured in March of 2022 and this one I bought this year. So this is a year old or 18 months old and let's compare the two. So everything is the same in terms of the box. They've just changed the soap itself. So that's the previous soap bar. So the predecessor soap, so this was 100 grams and now they've given you more product with the new soap and this is now 120 grams. So you can see the difference there. They are about the same size but when you turn it this way you can see the difference there. This one is a lot smaller and you're getting a lot more product in the new version now. The price is going to cost you £26 for this one. So this one smells Oh my gosh, it's so good. But this, I have to say, this has a more talcum powder smell. This smells really nice. It's a lot stronger, this perfume. This perfume soap is much stronger. This one smells really light and a bit generic. And this one smells like Miss Dior. It smells strong. It smells a little bit talcum powder-like. It's heavy rose, heavy sweetness. It smells gorgeous. So yeah, they no longer make this one anymore. This just smells like a true soap. Now we're going to go all the way back and I'm embarrassed to do this because I'm going to check now. I didn't think I was going to share this with you, but let's do it. It's right here in my hand. So zero, one. I'm embarrassed to find out the results. Ah, okay. Again, 
Okay, it makes sense. So I have the original soap here, which is still wrapped. I haven't unboxed this one, and I think at the time I would have bought, because I would buy these in bulk, maybe two or three at a time, and I just never got through to using this one, and it was just always in my wardrobe. And you can see that this has a very different um, style, packaging has changed, this is more modern now, and everything's changed, it looks a bit like old as well. And I've just checked the date, and this is 2013. That's how old this soap is, so it makes it, what, 10 years old? So it's very old soap. <laughs> Um, and I've decided anyway, I mean, I've had it and I'm not going to use it. I've just kept it for reviews and for videos and just to, um, you know, share my knowledge of the products with you guys. But this is a vintage bar of soap that I'm not going to use. But if you wanted to see how it's changed, you can see there. And also this bar of soap was similar to the older version. It's a white bar. And it had, I think, on the sides, it's got the hound's tooth, just like the box here, the hound's tooth. So it's changed. And this one here, you have the hound's tooth on the side, and the predecessor, it had the hound's tooth pattern at the back of the soap. So you can see here, you've got the hound's tooth at the back, and nothing on the sides. This soap is laced with glitter, so you can see that there. And the new version, there's no glitter anymore, not that I can see. I don't think so whatsoever, yeah. No glitter on this one. And another bit of information. So this is the original soap. When this came out, they were giving you 150 ml of the product. And then they reformulated the soap and they cut that all the way down to 100. Now they've brought it back up to the original size and it's now back to 120 grams. I like when a brand will do that for their loyal consumers because they took away a lot of the product and you were still paying the same price plus more. So now they've given you more product with this. So from the Miss Dior range, the only Eau de Parfum versions is the original Miss Dior and Absolutely Blooming are the only formulations that are Eau de Parfum. And this one lasts the longest. Absolutely Blooming is a stunner. It's really beautiful and long lasting. Within the collection, we have Blooming Bouquet, which is an Eau de Toilette. We have Miss Dior, the Eau de Toilette formula. Rose and Roses, again, also Eau de Toilette. And then we have the Rose Essence, again, Eau de Toilette. So that's four in the collection out of six that are all Eau de Toilettes. The Miss Dior Eau de Toilette and Blooming Bouquet, they have the signature style bottle. It's taller, the bottles and more narrow and on the sides there it's plain, plain at the top and houndstooth at the bottom and the newer bottles here mainly for blooming bouquet it's now a ribbon um, as a bow and this is an older version as well but they still haven't changed anything but you've got that metallic bow and again houndstooth at the bottom or base of the bottle but this time you've got that step on the actual neck of the bottle there. So you can kind of see it has like two ridges just there on the neck. Rose and Rose still has that classic Miss Dior or the toilet bottle. So it's taller in its height and it's like a rectangular shape. You have the houndstooth design on the side and the base is clear. The glass is weighty, it's heavy. And then you've got that little step coming down at the neck of the bottle just there. You have a metallic bow on this one and you've got the CD embossed there, the emblem, and then you also have it just on the nozzle spray there. So that has a typical design, but this design also complements the body care range. It's very similar to the shower gel. You've got that tall rectangular shape and you both have the houndstooth design there. So it's very similar. The face of the bottle is plain, just like this one here and similar to the body mist you have that tall shape rectangular bottle and you have the houndstooth design at the side and you have the step on the neck of the bottle so you have about two ridges going down just here no bow on this one there 
And then the last bottle is the Rose Essence. This glass is a lot lighter. It's quite thin, the glass as well. The base of the bottle is so much thinner, but it, again, it's very similar to the other toilet version where you have the hound's tooth just on the side of the bottle. The base is blank. There's nothing at the base and all the information is on the base as well. So it says Eau de Toilette, made in France, and then you have your batch number just here. And this time round, you have the bow. That's like a ribbon or a tie, and it's secured with a metallic um, Christian Dior emblem or symbol there. And then on the top of the lid, it's frosted, CD, and CD on the sprayer there as well. But this is so much light in comparison to the other Misty Your bottles. This is extremely heavy, <laughs> quite a weighty bottle. You can see here, thin glass and absolutely blooming. You've got that really thick, it's dented in on the sides there. Can you see that there? And then if I compare the new 2023 version, it's a lot thinner, the glass. You have the detail and information right at the back. It says Christian Dior, made in France, it tells you the size and then also it has the batch code just embossed at the back there. You might have to tilt it to find it but it's just right there. It's no longer on the card on the inside. At the back of this label when you turn it around you will normally have all the details here but they've changed it and it's now on the base. When you compare the bottles, you can just see the difference now in size and you can feel it in the weight as well. And this one doesn't have that step going down. You have this ribbon bow that has little um, speckles of color. It's like a burst of confetti, it's so really pretty. And so now we're done with the fragrances and I knew this video was gonna be so long. I'm going to have to film a part two because I think I'm gonna have my Misty Your Confessions tape ready for you to view behind the scenes. I'm gonna share with you my experiences with the perfume and the brand and some of the changes that I've noticed. So I might do that in another video because this video is going to be a long one. I'm going to include the Rose Bath Bombs as a part of the cleansing experience. So these delicate bath bombs, you just place one of the tablets into the bath and it's going to fizz and it's going to scent the water, soften the water as well and make it perfumed. And they are in little sealable tablets like this. And it's really pretty. It has a shape of a macaron as well. So they're really pretty. I think this is a perfect gift. I would, if I was gifting someone, I would buy them a treat like this because this is all about self-care relaxing so I would buy something like this and then the perfume as well and I would pick maybe two more items if I really want to spoil them probably even more but I would buy definitely a fragrance and two other items I just think it looks so beautiful and I love their presentation when they're gifting as well to complement the bathing experience you also have the bath pearls now this has a very delicate scent as well so it's presented in this heavy weighty glass dish and a pale pink lid. It's got a nice silver trim on there. It looks really nice. And it just has a little lid in there to protect and keep in the fragrance. Remove this lid like that and you've got the bath pearls inside here. This smells beautiful. It has that Miss Dior DNA. It just smells like Miss Dior. A little bit more floral. It reminds me very slightly of Blooming Bouquet, but it's a little bit sweeter and it's very delicate and floral. So the bath pearls would make a really nice set. So in terms of moisture, we have the body lotion. So this is a light milky formula. This is called the Moisturizing Body Milk. It's presented in this pink, very pale pink bottle. And you can't really see the product through here because it's more opaque. And you've got the hound's tooth designs. It's very similar like the fragrances. And this is very light, milky, very soft. But you do receive some of the perfume in here. And to me, this smells like absolutely blooming. I'm going to put a little bit here on my skin. Let's put some here. So you've got that milk there. And you just apply and rub that in your skin. Oh, that's quite nice. Really soft. Oh, very nice. It feels milky. The texture is light, this texture. And I think this is really nice to apply for your hands. 
maybe on your arms as well and then you could just apply the perfume on top but this is a light formula quite nice very milky it's not sticky or anything it absorbs immediately into the skin this is the fresh body cream by Dior and again a beautiful glass bottle this is heavy glass it feels so nice it looks beautiful and I love this design I love the way how the product you can see through it and you can see this pedestal here it's a thick glass at the base and it just looks expensive it looks girly really feminine this is really nice to have on your dressing table so let's open it here the lid is very similar in its design it's a pale pink with CD here and then it has that silver trim on the lid it's secured again with that inner lid there to protect it I just want to see how thick that cream is there can you see that there can you see how spongy this cream is it's like a whipped butter it's really soft and fluffy I'm going to apply this one on my other hand which is here so this cream is really thick and soft it feels a bit fluffy and you just massage that into the skin it's not sticky at all quite moisturizing and you do pick up that fresh scent I feel like this smells a little bit more like blooming bouquet Oh, it's really nice. I have the Fresh Rose Body Oil, and if you look closely, it's a two-tone solution. So here at the base, you've got that emulsion of oil and rose water, and then you have to activate this product before you use it. But you can see the two layers there. You've got that rose water and then the oil. You just shake to activate it, and then you receive this really pretty pink emulsion of the body oil. Rich emulsion. And then now you can spray this all over your body. Now, when you spray this, the atomizer is a white atomizer. So when you spray it, it sort of feels almost like your whole body when you spray this. This is a delicate oil. It's not greasy. It's really soft. Yeah, it smells really nice. Again, I would say this is more on the blooming bouquet side, but it complements everything very well. You can just layer. Oh, that's really nice. I think it's really pretty, this one. I didn't want to include this with all the perfumes because it becomes too confusing. But this is the Hair Mist. And it's a perfumed hair mist. So the notes in this one... Ooh, very nice. The top notes are bergamot. In the heart, it's rose and Egyptian, jasmine. Then we have musk and patchouli in the base. I'll spray some here so you can see the mist. And to me, this smells like um, Blooming Bouquet. It's fresh, there's lots of bergamot in here, rose, jasmine, really soft. So that's quite nice as well. So if you didn't want to go for the perfume, then I would go for a hair mist for sure and a lotion because you get the scent that way. And I do like hair perfumes as well if you just want a delicate scent or you're looking for something cosy, you're going to be around family or cooking or things like that and you just don't want a heavy perfume, you just want something very light. So I do recommend hair perfumes. As an extra treat, you have the Miss Dior hair oil. Spray the oil on your hands here. And you can see that's more of an oil formula. And then you just rub that into your hair. Ooh, it smells a little bit nutty. I wonder which oil, maybe it's like an almond oil base. It's quite nutty. It's nutty and then it is very fresh and really pretty. But that's a nice hair oil as well for an extra treat. So that looks beautiful as a gift. Miss Dior also has a 20ml hair sprays. And usually these are a part of a gift. I don't think currently you can buy these separately. But normally they're gifted to you as a part of their reward scheme. Or you can buy these or they might come complimentary in a whole gift set. So you can buy in a perfume with lotion and you receive 20ml for free. In this purse spray, I have Blooming Bouquet, and this is the previous formulation. So this would have been the 2014 formulation. And this opens up with Mandarin, you have Peony, Damask Rose, you have Apricot, Peach, and White Musk. And the version we have today is very different now because there's no more fruity notes in here. This is Sweet Pea now, it's very different. So this is the older formulation, and I have two here and I'll just show you how it works so you just take off this lid here and this is the refill 
there and this is the 2020 formulation just in here and I think you can just use this and refill your bottles by using the pump here to activate it. So once this is finished, I might reuse this for something else. It clicks into place and there you have it. And it's wrapped in this really pretty leather and it has the canage print there. I have the Mistyor scented blooming powder. You have this platinum trim on the lid and you have this really pretty pale pink color here. And it's got the Dior symbol there. Inside there it says Dior on the puff. And the puff is really pretty and soft. You just remove the puff here, dip it into the powder, and then you can apply it onto your skin. And what I love about this shimmering powder is that this is a beautiful pink color. It's almost a mixture of pink, lilac, and silver flecks of shimmer. And then you can just apply this, if you like, on your shoulders, or down here on your collarbone, or just all over your body, your arms, it'd be really pretty. But this does smell like Blooming Bouquet. It's delicate, really pretty, and it shines so nicely on the skin. I put some on earlier, but I don't think the camera's going to pick up the lighting. In terms of gifting, you can be as creative as you like. There's so many things to pick. You've got shower gels, you've got body creams, you have roller pearls, and all of these items are to complement the fragrance. This will make your gifting experience even more special and beautiful. And one more item to add to the gift, I would say, if I was gifting, I would go in with the Miss Dior candle as well. That's really pretty. This actually smells like blooming bouquet once again. And you've got the little delicate flowers and that looks really pretty on your dressing table if you just place it there as well so that's really nice i have a few items to unbox with you this is the summer collection from dior that i didn't open i don't know why i bought this and i, I just didn't open it so this is the time to do it because we're doing gifting i have three new items in my collection this is a summer edition and this one i have in no particular order this is the rose shower oil and foam and this is 75 ml which is, let me just see, 2.5 ounces. So let's open this one up. I was actually going to take this away with me when I traveled, but I really wanted to unbox it for you guys. So I think that's why I kept it so long. But this has the hound's tooth print on it, and it's really pretty, very Dior. And what I like about this, it's thin, it's slender, it's under 100 mil, so you can travel with this, put this in your makeup bag, and take this away on a weekend or a vacation. And if you still want to have that Dior experience when you're abroad, it's really nice, or just away for the weekend, it's quite special, quite a nice gift. So this is the Shimmering Rose Sorbet Body Gel. So they all have the same packaging. They come in that set there, same packaging. And I'm going to, I'm going to open this one for you. I have tried this before in store. You just apply this on the skin and then you receive this pink gel formula with some delicate shimmer. So it's very similar to the body gel here, the body powder. When you put this on, it's quite strong. I receive a lot of the alcohol notes in here. It's quite a strong. I think you have to wait for this to die down. So I'm gonna come back to this one. But this is the body gel and you get a very delicate shimmer on here. I can see the shimmer there, but it's very delicate. Guys, how do you feel about a long video? Because I just filmed the longest video about the whole Miss Dior collection in the tea and the coffee. The next item I'm going to be unboxing is called the Rose Granita Shower Milk. Now I was always curious about this one. So let's open this one here. Just remove the seal. I'm on the same hand, just so you can see. I'm going to apply some of the gel there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it there? There. So yeah, this is like a creamy formula. Oh, I've put quite a bit on there, just so you can see. So that's the formula there. I'm going to sort of spread this down so you can kind of see. Can you see the grains there? It does have a lactonic note. It smells very milky. This smells like milk to me. So this is a exfoliating shower milk which is really nice because you want something that's moisturizing it's not that abrasive but you can feel the grains it feels more like like fine salt 
compared to sugar. It's not coarse, it's very fine grains. And it's very creamy, milky. When you smell this, it smells a bit lactonic as well. So it looks similar to that. Can you see how oily that is? You can just see all the fine grains. Oh, okay. This is my entire Miss Dior collection. But there's just a few more items I want to mention in case you are still not getting enough of Miss Dior. If you love Miss Dior because of that note of rose, then you might want to try Le Col Noir. Now this is still by Christian Dior, but from his private collection. Now this is a mix of rose with lemon and some berry notes in the opening. So you've got some black currant in there, then you have some peony rose, and then you have lots of lemon in here as well. So this is a fruity take on a rose, fruity flora, a little bit sweet, but you receive that lemon touch in the opening. This is a beautiful perfume. I love wearing this in the spring and summer, and it's extremely girly, very feminine. If you wanted to gift someone and just make it a little bit unique and special, then you could pair a fragrance like this with perhaps this one here, or you could take this fragrance and you could mix maybe a cleansing product or some lotions and things, so just different ideas. But if you love Miss Dior, then you're probably going to love this one as well. But it's just more of that fruity rose. It's going to remind you more of like Blooming Bouquet without the sweetness. It's more citrus, this one. Also, if you're living your best Miss Dior life, then you might want to paint your nails in the Nail Glow. This also gives that misty old look. It's a really nice sheer color. So if you're going for natural nails and you just want a little tint on the nail, I would try the Nail Glow. Now this gives your nails a very sheer wash of color. It's very light pink tint. And as you turn your, your hand, it has a tiny bit of a blue glow on it as well, almost lilac-y. So that's really nice. I wasn't expecting that blue tone, but I wore this the other day and it has like a little bit of a pink and blue mix. So that's the Nail Glow. I might speak more about my Dior makeup range, but I wanted to buy the 1947 Miss Dior lipstick and it was sold out. This is the Addict Lip Glow in 038 in Rose Nude. And this is a beautiful color. If you're looking for a natural pinky color, this gives you that Miss Dior theme, and if you're gifting, this is a nice item to add. This is one of my favorite lip products because I find it so moisturizing. And it's got this sort of pinky nude brown color. And this changes on everyone's skin tone. It's really nice. Everyone can wear this one. It's a beautiful pink. Let's just swatch. I'll just swatch a little here for you. And it just gives a very sheer wash of colour, very pretty. And it has a very delicate mint scent. And that's going to change on your lip colour there. So on my skin, it looks a little bit pink, like a pinky brown colour, really nice. And this is highly moisturising, so I do recommend this for the winter. And then the last item I have is my purifying hand gel. This has a scent of Blooming Bouquet. Every time you apply this on your skin, it's almost like you've just sprayed the perfume and it's really nice, very handy to sanitize the hand during the day and it's, it's beautiful. The scent is so nice and it just looks like a bottle of perfume. It's plastic, it's got the hound tooth design. It looks like fragrance, so that's quite nice. We have completed my ultimate guide to Miss Dior. I think I'm going to be making a second part to this video where I'm going to get into more details talking about the flankers and just updating my previous videos. I have tens of videos all about Miss Dior or dedicated to this collection. So check out those videos. I'll leave some links for you down below. Make sure to watch that next. And then I'm going to see you in my next video. So thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite perfume plus body care range from the collection. I'm dying to know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.